What is going on guys and welcome back to another Spider-Man video. So today I thought I would take the time to sit down and talk about the tweet we got from Jacinda Chu yesterday about dynamic weather in Spider-Man PS4 because let's be honest right I've already posted this in my community tab as you guys are probably aware so I thought me making this video will kind of get my perspective out on there and then I want to take your guys thoughts and feedback in the comment section below and I will kind of be speaking with all of you guys debating on certain things but first and foremost I think this is a, a very tiny issue that has definitely escalated like it's not something we should probably like take in and be like oh this game's gonna be crap I think it definitely is something so small uh, yet it's probably being taken a lot further than it definitely needs to be but anyway the dynamic weather so Jacinda Chu one of the directors at Insomniac Games she says I can't answer a lot of questions about Spider-Man PS4 because Ninja Assassins will come after to me but I get a lot of questions about rain why do people want rain so badly please discuss so as I said a few seconds ago lots of people in the comment section of that uh, tweet pretty much just I guess being like what do you mean like and it is kind of like a silly question I guess you could say uh, because the way I feel about dynamic weather in open world games is that, believe it or not, it's 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 important, okay? Let's be honest. Yeah, it's not like a massive game changer, but it is definitely nice to have because I think uh, having a game where it's constantly daytime, let's just say for example, is probably going to make the game feel dry to some extent after a certain amount of time, probably about a couple of days. I mean, she never said about like things such as there's going to be no nighttime in the game because that's something a lot of people have also been wanting to see. I feel like it's just a basic of the basic but, but it's weird because this was the last video I was talking about of course and that was about the dynamic weather which one of your rebels actually suggested. Now is this tweet actually confirming that there is going to be no rain in the game or dynamic weather if you will? Well I guess it's kind of like 50-50 because it could be in a game like full dynamic weather literally flat out rolling in the game as cool as it possibly could but she just simply wanted to ask why people feel like it's a big question but I mean like I know one of you guys actually commented right on my post saying well maybe there's not gonna be rain in the game because it might affect spider-man suit I mean come on boy do not do this. Please do not comment that ever again. <laughs> I mean, it's a goddamn video game, right? Now, even though, like I said, it's not a big problem at all, it's just a nice, like a nice little addition I personally feel would make the game more immersive to some extent and challenging and whatnot because it might not just be rain, it can be foggy, like weather in general. And just making the world, aka I guess you could say New York City, uh, or New York more specifically, uh, feeling a lot more realistic and alive and I, I guess immersive like I said, you know, because certain like weather conditions definitely do give you a, a different mood, right? And I think that's very important in open world games as a whole, not just necessarily a game like Spider-Man, but just across the entire genre. But does there need to be rain in the game? Me being completely honest, not necessarily. Yes, it would be great, but what I do not want to see is a game that's constantly going to be in daytime, essentially. Of course, that would just suck. So for me about this whole dynamic weather situation, what I would really like to see, if it was up to me, going to be completely honest with you, full on weird ass weather conditions. Alright, so one day it's sunny, then night time, then it's raining. I mean, what would be crazy if it's like, I don't know, maybe around Christmas time, they added like some sort of like add-on like GTA do, with a snow sort of like effect, but who the heck knows? I don't really care. I'm just saying that's if it was me and up to me to add this stuff into the game, but... What I feel is like it's a very small issue and we probably shouldn't be making a big fuss of this. I mean, in fact, we definitely should not be making a big fuss of this. So, my message to you, Jacinda Chu, is that you guys are doing an absolutely great job with Spider-Man PS4 as it currently stands from what we have seen and I have nothing but faith in you guys. But also, to answer your tweet about why do people want rain so badly, I think it's just simply to give people a better immersive experience experience, a different vibe to some extent, and overall, let's be honest, man, it, it does look pretty badass, alright? Like, if it was just raining, you're fighting, there's explosions, I don't know, It just it's just one of those things that naturally feel cooler. I mean, hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say here, because in my imagination, this looks super badass. How I'm describing it? Probably not so much. But get in the comment section below anyway, and tell me what you guys think about this. It might have been a video that probably was like, Super Rebel, why have you 
you made a video talking about rain, it's not so much about that, okay people? It's just I think we need to just address that little things in the game don't need to be taken so far, however little things in a game can definitely make a big us different on the gameplay experience. But like I said, get in the comment section below, let me know what you think. If you missed the last video, the link is in the description below. I will see you in the next one, so subscribe for more awesome content, but until then, adios amigos.